Welcome back to the 13th Destiny Podcast with Magnum. I am your host, James Magnum Cook. And you may have noticed I am sounding a lot better tonight. Yes, the rib is still healing up, of course, because it takes time to heal up. But it's probably in the best shape it's been, um, as far as I can tell, since the day that uh, it was fractured by the masseuse which is unbelievable but anyway i did find out today from a friend that there was a professional ball player that had had this very same thing happen a couple of years ago and uh i figure when they're over six foot tall and 200 plus some pounds of a lot of muscle and it happens to them so i don't feel so bad now about it happening to me but i'm just like that was even a bigger shocker because i believe at the time that happened with uh, that gentleman, he was like 24 years old. So, you know, I guess uh, at my age, and uh, um, but I am fairly still active on most things, and I think a lot of people know I do adventure experiences and various other things while still doing my own stunts uh, in my independent films, etc. So, yeah, so anyway, that's out of the way, and I just want you to know I am breathing much better tonight, feeling much better. Um, Oh, so uh, a lot of rest. I, I slept all night last night for the most part, except for uh, a nice little conversation thing that I had with someone for about 45 minutes. But other than that, that was pretty pretty much pretty much the night. It was pretty much just sleep. And then uh, I couldn't catch up with my friends, which I'll talk about in them, until later this afternoon uh, because they were out in Dallas doing some stuff uh, with another friend of theirs. And so there I had to uh, wait to... Uh, get caught up with them and so anyway but that's what i'm going to talk about tonight i'm going to talk about that and a couple other things but here i am still in the great state of texas and having an awesome time i'm staying over in decatur uh, my friends live over in bridgeport and tonight we were over in fort worth uh for a little bit went over to applebee's uh had a nice uh dinner together uh and then met this awesome server tonight whose name is Haley Anderson. She was an absolute pleasure to uh, be waited on by. She was she was very fun, engaging. Uh, when I have a really good server, not only do I do the books, I also, you know, make sure they're taken care of and I certainly will talk about them because uh, I used to work in that kind of stuff and uh, it's, sometimes it's a lot harder than people think it is if you've never really been in that and you really had to put up with that, especially the servers. Uh, you know, they do an awesome job most of the time and when I have a really, really good one like I did, over there in Fort Worth tonight, uh, Haley Anderson, you were wonderful, you were fun, you were engaging, you took care of us, and you stayed on top of everything, and it's really appreciated. And so, a big shout out to you out there tonight, so that was awesome on your part. And so now, on what we planned for this evening, we went over um, to, um, uh, hold on just a minute, make sure I get this right. Uh, the place is called the Secret Chamber. It's a, also an escape room thing. And, of course, I think you know that I just recently did my first escape room over in San Diego with Danielle Long, my uh, West Coast co-host, uh, and soon to be, ladies and gentlemen, she's soon going to be involved with uh, a lot more stuff with my company. I'll tell you that uh, probably on another show, but we are working on some other stuff. And uh, a lot of ch changes are going on. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that I can't talk about yet. Uh, some legal matters and things like that and uh, but we'll get to that eventually but tonight is just a really fun night so anyway I went with my friends uh, Jeremy and uh, Bug and uh, their daughter uh, Crimson and Crimson's an awesome young lady uh, she's really gonna go somewhere I can tell you that right now she's she's wonderful at 13 she is a really really nice young lady and she's also a incredible uh, uh, with her archery uh, so shout out to her too so yeah always have a good time down here with all of them and uh, so we went over and did the uh, the secret chamber escape room and uh, uh, we managed to get to the last room and uh, we didn't quite get it all done in the hour but we almost did and uh, that was a pretty fun experience and we all had a really really good time with it I think one of the great things about this is that you have to really use your mind on these things and uh, and work as a team I think those are two I think this is a really good team building thing for anyone that really wants to take uh, their company and some people from their businesses and stuff like that and try to do a team building this would be this would be an awesome thing for that to do I think that's something you should do 
Um, just a suggestion uh, but because it's a very good be it team building thing working together and it's also having to use your mind so very 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 good and I think you can really tell that I am in much better shape tonight than I've been because I am I don't know maybe it's the adrenaline because we really got you know I mean we really had a good time tonight and tomorrow they See, I've been, I've been going out and taking them kind of, but they're, they invited me to something since I'm spending the whole weekend here with them. And uh, uh, let's see, I'm trying to, it's uh, this medieval thing where you go and uh, it's like castle thing and uh, I guess they have a show and, uh, and apparently you don't use utensils to eat. So this should be really, because apparently... You know, there wasn't any utensils in, like, the medieval times. So, uh, this is something they're taking me to tomorrow night. And uh, I think that'll be a pretty awesome experience as well. You see, this is the kind of stuff I love to do. And I didn't get to do this for a long time. Boy, I don't think I really got to do this in, like, this kind of run where I was able to do my show. I was able to do my own stuff. I was able to travel. Um, you know, yeah. It's bad that I had the fractured rib and you know in San Diego and everything, but I maintained and I kept going. And uh, tonight I feel awesome. It was just a wonderful night out uh, with all of them, and tomorrow night should be even more fun uh, with uh, their uh, other child as well. This is going to be just absolutely great. And they invite. See, this is what. I do. My friends and I go back and forth, and they're taking care of everything for tomorrow night, and I love that. I didn't ask them to do that, but they're doing that, and, uh, you know, we, we go back and forth in these things. You know, I have some really great friends. These are, what I was talking about on one of the other shows about, that I have a certain small group of friends among all those friends and connections that I have that are very close. These particular friends right here in Texas, a few friends in California, a few friends from other places, a few friends back home. These are the ones that you see me hanging out with on a regular basis or you see an interaction. Ironically, um, Jay, my, who I call my brother, who's not really my real brother, but we're so close that we've been like before my father died he basically said you're a part of the family so he called he told jay he was part of the family so the thing is me and jay are coming down here next year to do jeremy and bug's wedding so we are very very so these so these are among these friends that i talk about when you hear me really talk about my really good friends these are the kind of friends that i really enjoy the ones that go out and have fun and do the things that i like to do and have a good time and you know bring their families with me and interact with their family i really enjoy that and uh and i have a few others and stuff i don't and there's a few that i interact with that i don't post about and i don't talk about on a regular basis i have it's not that i'm trying to keep anything secret it's just some people i have i have one particular friend i will tell you she's an complete anti-social she would she has no social media she she still and she loves her life okay but we went out and had a good time recently in Nashville before I left and just hung out for the day. I have friends like that. I have true friends like that, that we just do things together and we just have a good time. And, um, you know, and, it, and and it's platonic, by the way, uh, like that particular friend. And um, it's just it's someone that I go out and have a good time, fun, you know, race. I mean, we... <laughs> I'll tell you, uh, I'm not going to tell you her name because she is antisocial, but she's very, a very good friend I've had for a long time, and she also did some work for my dad before he passed away. And literally, literally, all we did, we went to Nashville, and uh, we went go-kart racing, went to some arcades, do stuff like that. We just hung out had a good time. This is the side of me that very few people get that close to me to be able to engage like that. Um, it's not that I'm being, well, maybe I am being selective because to really know me you and le let me trust you and bring you into my world, you know, and that's one of the things that I really, and this is probably the only thing, I said I don't really hate anybody. I told you that on one show before, but there are some things that sometimes I dislike their actions. If I'm willing to trust you enough to to be that close inside of what I would call somewhat of my inner circle, don't ever betray it. Because if you betray it, you know, I can forgive anybody, but I will never forget. I will never forget what you did, and it will be there forever. And, you know, I've only had a handful of people ever do that. 
that I let get that close. You know, and um, you know, in the end of the day, I know that my goodness to the ones that I'm really good friends with, like the ones here in Texas, who interact and give back just to me, just as much as I do with them. I know that that's what my father used to say, and it's sort of biblical in a way. Is the hot coals are going on top of the heads of the people who have done me wrong, because my actions are speaking much louder than any words or things that you've done, and um, I think that's a good thing. I have never stopped being me, and I'm not going to stop being me for anybody. You take it as it is. This is who I am, and like tonight, what I was out there doing and being with my friends. And interacting with my friends and their family. That's the real me. There's no secret to that. There's no mystery to that. Now maybe some people that don't like me. And you know what? I don't care that you don't like me. Because I know there's some out there that don't. And I'm okay with that. Because no one's going to like everybody apparently. You know, that's, the way it's just, that's just the way it is. Human nature has to deal with it. But I don't let it get to me anymore. You know, there was a time maybe I did. But now? Yeah, ain't worth it. <laughs> anyway, as I said, my actions prove who I am. And uh, it's just like my interaction with my servers and desk clerks and everything else and everybody I interact with in the service industry. They know who I am. And they really know who I am. I'm good to them. They're good to me. And... Uh, that's that's something that you cannot put a price on. When people truly know who you are. And how the actions play out. Well, anyway, that's that. And like I said, had a good time tonight. And I will tell you, I am working on getting a very special, that's very special guest on. I did have a little interaction with her today. And uh, I will go from there. And hopefully, if all goes well... I should be into Tennessee by sometime by Thursday, and hopefully I will be able to interview her on the show, and we will get that guest on, and then I guess I'm going home. Um, <laughs> it's been a long trip, but uh, i got to get home, take care of some things back home, and uh, do some stuff there, and uh, got some things pending, um, but nothing serious. I made sure everything that I needed to pay was paid before I left so I had the whole month pretty much to do what I wanted to do uh, so that worked out and uh, so uh, hopefully I go to Tennessee in the next uh, few days uh, get over there and get her interviewed and uh, get her on the show and that'll probably be a pretty long show because I would like to I'd like to get a you know a really good show with her ask her some you know a lot of questions uh, and just uh, enjoy the show between me and her and I think it will I think I think it'll be a good show and I think you'll enjoy that having that particular guest on I have already mentioned her before so um, and uh, she's the ghost biker Miranda Young and hopefully that all plays out in this coming week and uh, whew, it's been a long time trying to get her on uh, but our schedules have been extremely crazy uh, on both ends so uh, we are very close to getting that settled and getting me over there to uh, uh, the historical Scott County Jail where I'll be going also as well and um, hopefully that all plays out in the next week here and uh, anyway I'm feeling really really good tonight and I think my friends and the adrenaline and everything is just going well um, I haven't laid down yet, so I don't know how my size is going to feel online now, but I, everything I did tonight, uh, it didn't hurt a lot. It has been hurting. Obviously, I know it takes a while to heal up. Of course, I never had it checked to see how deep this was, so it may have been like one something I had similar um, when I was kicked into the side uh, several years ago. Um, but other than that, I think I'm okay, um, and we'll see how I feel in the morning, and uh, we'll go from there, and hopefully tomorrow night is going to be an awesome night. I think it will be. It was an awesome night tonight, and again, big thanks to uh, Jeremy Bug and uh, Crimson. Uh, Y'all really always show me a good time when I'm here in Texas, and uh, I'm, I'm thankful to have friends like you guys, and uh, hmm. these are the kind of friends that the money can't buy anyway. Because 
they will be your friends whether you have it or not and that's and that's very important because they've been with me on the ups and the downs and let me tell you that means a lot well anyway i hope all of you are having a great night and uh thank you for listening to the 13th destiny podcast with magnum i am your host james magnum cook and i hope you're having a good morning good evening etc wherever you're at in the 13th destiny podcast world god bless all of you and i'll be back soon <laughs>